on Eve Ultima to ready up here. There he goes. Uh, we've gone ahead and reset that Twitch chat poll. So go ahead and vote for who you think is going to win the next match here. Uh, and we'll see. I don't know if Hype's, you know, Hype might just continue to take this same build with the one tier one and three tier twos. It's been working out with it for him so far. Uh, AV. That's got a lot of uh, different counter opportunities. So those three tier twos gives you a lot of opportunity to counter anything that the opponent makes. So it's a good, it's a, a good strategy if you'll just want to be prepared for anything, I think. We'll see AV Ultima going back to Snakes. I think they did work better for him uh, during that first match, be able to kind of pick off those Falcons early on. Uh, both players haven't deviated from their tier three choices so far. Uh, Hype going that Fox every time and AV going with that Badger every time. And it looks like AV wants to give us a very similar build to where we went the first game, which of course was a win, so maybe uh, he trusts in that. Except he's going for scrolls instead of lizards this time. Okay, so going into game three of Hype vs. AV Ultima. Hype is to the south end of the map in purple, AV Ultima to the north end of the map in green. And so far it is 1 all, so this could, this could still go either way. Now it looks like there's two ways for our opponents to attack each other. There's this fast road that connects both of these bases, and there's this little back way that you have to traverse through some water and across a bridge uh, to get to. It's a nice little back door. Let's see what AV Ultimate or Hype decides to do to control both of these areas. We're going to go ahead and throw on the dual commander visibility here so you can see what each commander is seeing. Twitch chat is in favor of AV Ultima right now. And it's a little bit over 50% uh, there. No. I'm not entirely surprised looking at the distance I has from the windmills. He's going to be pretty much screwed for an expansion. It's true. AV is going to, or I'm sorry, Hype is going to have to rush if he wants to avoid a long economic game unless he can claim a mill uh, somewhere way out in the middle of the field and then defend it. Uh, but otherwise, let's see, he's on seven farms right here. He's going to go ahead and he's going to do the same thing he's been doing uh, for all these matches. going to throw it on the Skunk Warren first. Is this the right decision to make right now, Hunter? I think it might be again, because AV going for loads of Squirrels again. As long as he can get one of those Skunks out before this attack hits, which I'm, I'm not entirely convinced he can, it's going to work out well. He does have those squirrel, uh, that Squirrel Warren that's going to come out just in time, like maybe one Squirrel. But it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to defend this. Right, one squirrel, one skunk is about halfway up. Uh, that machine gun is a little too late. It gets taken down. Uh, but AV is kind of backing off. Remember, AV can't see up on this ledge here. What AV can Ooh. see. The squirrel one does get taken out, but now that our skunk's out, AV is pretty much forced to not fight here. That skunk's easily gonna be able to clear up these squirrels. Although. Maybe looks like he's going all in on just trying to take down that squirrel, uh, skunk warren, and he does in fact do that. He does, yeah. And that's yeah. quite a big deal. That's 120 food for Hype that is is gone now. Especially in a game where uh, he has uh, a big economic disadvantage in terms of expansions, he's going to have to work really hard if he wants to draw this game out. EV Ultima just now throwing up two more farms, so he's been on five, this is like a five farm rush. And a turret now uh, up on that high ground is making it very difficult for AV to attack. We see AV running. Is in a position, I think here. Now the pipe, it, he's pretty much stuck in this in his base. He has no way of being the aggressor. AV is completely controlling the pace of the game. And if it goes beyond five minutes, I think AV just pretty much auto wins. Yeah, we'll see what hype decides to do to try and break out of this. Uh, AV again trying to fight up into that turret, but all of his squirrels getting taken out. It's just there's too much to defend there right now. He's gonna bring his his army back. Let's see, Hype's over here in the west. He is gonna buy that base there, so that's what he needs to do if he wants to stay in this game. Uh, he's gonna have to defend that though. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if AV goes and discovers that. He might have been able to hear it if he was close enough. Maybe he's gonna buy his own base over here, but. Uh, if AV discovers that base in the west, uh, you can easily keep running through there to harass, especially with that road, which is going to speed up your units. 
Looks like he's preparing for an eventuality where AV does discover it. He's put down an MG nest right there. Uh, give him a little bit more vision, I think, and also just obviously the protection of having something there. He's only got one farm on it so far. He doesn't have the best uh, amount of food to be able to pull it out. In terms of army value, they're fairly even right now. Hype gets the edge right uh, just a second ago, thanks to the tier 2s coming out. He has got a very tier 2 heavy army right now. The AV has those 9 scrolls, which are very strong punching power. Maybe those these skunks will make them... Uh, fairly ineffective, so looks like they're both going for a t an attack on different sides. Yeah, we'll AV decides if, not to, though. We'll see if they're like ships passing in the night or not. Uh, <laughs> AV's army is still close enough to defend, but he's gonna have to bring it over right now. There he is, bringing the army over. But Hype does not have a big enough army to contest with these uh, nine squirrels here. Hawks are gonna help too, but Skunks are gonna have to work really hard to take out uh, AV's army. It's a shame that Hype misses the opportunity where AV's, AV's uh, army was completely out of position. He misses the opportunity to just come in and maybe take off a couple of farms, but he does take the advantage right here. Takes a little couple of those scrolls out as they try and retreat, so that was a good pick off. Using that rose to get a bit more movement speed. And look at this, Hype has claimed this base and put down three machine guns right in this corridor. So excellent map control by Hype. Uh, that east corridor is still open, but of course Hype's expansion is now fully formed over in the west there, and that's what he needs to defend. So excellent job by Hype to try and uh, retain this mid to late game control. Yeah, really excellent. It's exactly what he needed to do as well. There was no chance of him winning if he just stayed in that uh, that original position. He claims this uh, midfield. He's almost forced AV into an, uh, an awful position now, where AV is actually way behind in economy again. It's what we saw last game as well. Hype goes really greedy on that economy and just builds a load of tier twos and completely shreds AV's army. Let's see what he does this game. AV's gone for a lot of Falcons, which are quite hard to counter. It's a great counter for those skunks. If his ground army can't take care of it, they're just gonna build more hawks to try and take care of those skunks. Uh, AV pushing through those three machine guns with his ferrets, he's gonna start taking down this mill here. There's only one farm at it, so it's not as important as that west base, but of course Hype has lost that contain in the west. Still got putting up more turrets around his western base. Uh, AB's gonna have to get ahead on economy now, because Hype's been ahead for so long. If he doesn't, it's like economic just uh, right now, it's all even further behind. Yeah, Hype. Uh... Panicking, putting down a lot of Falcons to try and deal with the enemy amount of Falcons. He's thinking, in this build, if he wants to take out those Falcons, he's just going to need more Falcons than the opponent. And AV does come in to attack Pipe's main here, but that's not really too big of a deal. Because there's only one farm left on it. It's there just a couple three... of Warrens, and he just completely ignores the Warrens anyway. Three Warrens down there, and it looks like Hype is coming in from the north to try and attack AV Ultima's bases, which is a much bigger deal because his bases are farming and right next to each other, so far unopposed. Take out that main, three farms still farming there. He's gonna pull back, that's, that's a good advantage for him. He should pull back, kind of regroup, ready for that final push there. Both Definitely. players on. He has a lot of Falcons now to be able to deal with AV's amount of Falcons. He's got ferrets as well, he's got skunks, he's got pretty much everything he needs to be able to bust AV out of this, uh, out of this position. He's also transitioned away from his tier 1s, which is an interesting move. He's only got three squirrels out on the field, uh, building his tier 3 right now, so getting his fox out. So it'll be interesting to see whether this mix of tier 2s is enough without any kind of squirrel support uh, just to take out AV Ultima's army. It's interesting actually, Hyper's not really gone very heavy on the tier 1 uh, in any of these games. He's not gone above 3 squirrels, I don't think, in this game. Ooh, but here we go, those and, hawks are ooh. thirsty for Hype's, uh, for Hype's Falcons. There they go, picking off a couple, and here goes the engagement. Hype's gonna engage here, AV Ultima is gonna commit as well. It's a hawk battle in the skies. And it looks like it's about even right now. Hype's gonna... Oh, no, they're, they're almost exactly Ooh. even. But I think Hype is gonna pull out with just one more... Oh, I take it back again. Oh, Ultima. those ferrets actually tanked the shots away from the important units. It's just... This is like an 
air battle happening above everyone else's heads. Oh, and that one Falcon left is gonna take down this base. If it can, there it goes. So that base is down. Hype still has that fully functioning base in the west, uh, but that was his next expansion, and that's three farms that are down now. So AV Ultima is on 14 farms to Hype's 8. Though Hype does have his tier 3 out, that fox is going to start picking away at all those falcons, hanging there undefended. There goes one down. Yeah, this fox is a great move here. If he can out-micro AV, he can really take a lot of his army out before the fight even starts. And then once he has the falcon advantage, I think he has the advantage in the in the battle as a whole. AV now playing with snakes. Okay, yeah, he's building snakes, which are definitely going to be really good against the uh, pipes falcons. Those turrets do go up, protecting AV Ultima's flank there. It's going to make it a little harder for Hype to punch through. Um, again, those falcons might be able to just burst through that wall of turrets, though. AV Ultima on 10 farms. Those farms getting taken out at his expansion base there. Hype on 7. He has gotten this, this expansion back, and he's starting to build farms on it again. We'll see if he can protect it this time. And Avian's going to buy that northern base as well, because he knows he's got to keep expanding and keep that food income coming in. Of course, farms are going to farm out after five minutes. They only have five minutes worth of food, and then they you can't be, they don't produce any more food, and they can't be built again. Hype is actually in a really awkward position now, where his a lot of his farms on that expansion have died, and he's really far behind on, on farms now. He's probably going to have to sell something, maybe one of these Falcon Warrants that can't build, to actually be able to pump farms into his into his new expansion. Otherwise, he's going to be really starved for food. And while Hype is just kind of sitting up here, I think it, it's a mistake not to take out this mill in the north here. Uh, he could take it out uncontested, but now AV Ultima is bringing his army back up. Uh, both players are a little bit even, about even on army value. Here we go AV Ultima trying to take control of this ledge here, so we can uh, control that north base and state in this game. But here we go, major engagement coming down. Lots of falcons getting poisoned by these new snakes. That fox goes down. All of Hype's army is going to go down. AV Ultima is going to wander through this fog here, but it doesn't matter. Three hawks flying above it and down this expansion is going to go, which is going to put Hype down at no farms, and Hype is going to give up AV Ultima taking game three in this best of five. Well, that was really a really rollercoaster ride of a game where AV manages to contain Hype kind of with those squirrels in the really early game. Hype breaks out, gets a really good position in the mid game with that midfield advantage, those expansions, and then AV manages to claw his way back with some really well played key fights and just completely crushes Hype's army right at the end there.